Hey y'all, artist poet girl here, also known as APG Jamie, and today we're going to work on this mystery envelope collaboration challenge hop, okay? Now Belle's the one that uh, sent out these luscious vintage envelopes, okay? For this challenge uh, to, I believe there are six, maybe seven, six of us in this hop. And please note, you will find the links in the description box below. Click on the word more to get to those links and you just click on the next link and it will take you to the next video in the hop, so on and so forth. Please leave kind comments, likes, shares, mm -hmm, and subscribe to those of us that you may not already be subscribed to. Because we thank you and we love you. And Belle, this is the bestest stuff. Look at that. That's like a giant ribbon or a piece of fabric. I'm not I'm not sure I ended up not using it. I'm a bad girl. Anyway, look at the horseshoes. So cool. And there was jewels and paper and uh, a really fun shaped punchinella there. Look at the dictionary pages. Okay. So we've all pretty much been sent. Uh, the same stuff. Now, granted, it's not totally identical because, you know, you only have so many identical things. Just saying. And we were challenged to uh, use it. Which we did. Okay? Okay. <sighs> now, there's a colored picture on that side and it's really nice and really pretty and I had a real hard time splitting the difference, but I like the other uncolored side. Okay, look at that ribbon, y'all. That is just delicious. Just delicious. So that's that's the envelope we got. Okay, and here's a beautiful card. Beautimus. I'm honored just to get that let alone getting to play with this other stuff. Now my project did take me some days Days with an S. That's, uh, I don't even remember the size of it now. It's in, uh, there's a whole list of uh, ingredients in the description box below the hop links, y'all. Anyway, um, it was an old canvas and I gessoed over it and uh, thought I would use it for this project. So here we go. See, I liked it that side. I don't know why, just because I did. I don't know why I like stuff. Sometimes another stuff another time. Anyway, this project took me dazes. Dazes, dazes. And I've got it whittled down to, uh, we might as well just call it 16 minutes, y'all. Okay? So there are portions of this that have been cut out and portions of this that have been way sped it up. Just saying. Okay? So um, I really had no plan. And at uh, a lot of time, half the time, some of the time, this was a horrible, horrible hot mess to me. Oh, I just am so happy with the way it came out. Okay? So if you end up with what you think is a horrible hot mess, just keep going. Okay? If it's already a horrible mess. It can only get better. I mean, is it going to get worse? Eh. So, any hoots, I'm using some gel medium there to glue down my paper, uh, paper, paper picture image girl there. This is vintage stuff, y'all. It's lovely. Oh, I like to pat it and keep it, and uh, but I had to use it because that's the challenge. Right? That was the challenge. Now, this is triple thick, and I wanted my girl to be shiny. Why did I want her to be shiny? That's a good question that I just can't answer. No, I just can't. So, any hoots. Putting triple thick on her. Now, see, there's a lot of drying in this, but you can't can't really speed it up much with a heat gun. Not much. So, she sat over there and dried uh, a few hours, probably, because the weather was kind of dry when I did this video. Now, this is some Liquitex fiber paste. 
I don't know if y'all have used it. It's kind of fun. And I put this on because I thought, well, I have this fiber paste. I want to use it. I know. That was my attitude. I want to use it. So I put it on there. And I'm like, yeah, I like it. And my husband saw it because he happened to come out to the studio, which he doesn't do too often. Okay. It's my woman gave. <laughs> so anyway, he came out there and he says, you know, that looks like lace, don't you? And I thought, well, you know, I guess it does kind of look like lace. Hmm. So these are some little bits, uh, little plastic things. Uh, one was blue, one was yellow, and I'm going to lie because I don't remember the color of the other one. been a couple of days. So I spray painted them black, silver, and gold. Maybe the one was already silver. Anyway, I spray painted black and gold for sure for sizzles. And I'm gluing them together because they layered together just like they came apart. Probably they was probably came together one at one time. I don't know if I'm putting them back just like they were because that would be funny. And I'm gluing the little flower button on there and uh, the little white button. These are vintage buttons. And my goodness, did I say delicious enough already? <laughs> now this is a thin tissue paper, and I'm gonna guess it was wrapped around candy. I'm just guessing because I can't read that language. Okay, just saying because I can't. I, in my head, it was wrapped around candy and that makes it even more sweeter. <laughs> and I love that red color. Now granted, I could have colored this. I could have painted over it, but I like the red. And then I started thinking, because, you know, I had this patriotic thing going on in my head. For whatever reason, it was just, you know, red, white, and blue. And then the, uh, that chick, she came out of, off the paper, and it was all in French. Pretty sure it was French. That's what I'm calling it. <laughs> yeah, that didn't even sound like a real laugh, did it? <laughs> anyway, so I tore it off in little pieces, which you saw, and I'm gluing it down with uh, fluid matte medium. And then that's going to dry. Well, my fiber paste had to dry. And now I'm taking my map. Wonderful map page, y'all. Nice, thick, healthy paper. Just saying. <laughs> it was. And I tore it to shreds. Tore it to shreds. And now I'm putting it around like I did the, uh, the red tissue paper. And then I come back and I'm putting some more fiber paste on there. I know I'm layering it up because it does, you know, you got to let it dry. Just, you know, got to let it dry. So keep going to do that. I know it's just kind of the same thing over and over. Paper, fiber paste, paper, fiber paste. Just saying because that's what it is. Okay. I'm almost done with this round. Can you guess what's next? <laughs> Don't already let the cat out of the bag? There it is those dictionary pages oh they're gorgeous I felt real bad about tearing them up but they're still gorgeous so we're going to make a round of those I'm going to go round and round now this is going on directly on top of that fiber paste and it's kind of boppy so I'm having to put some of that matte medium down and then smoosh it around with my finger and make sure it's on there good and good make sure it's on there really good okay here comes the fiber paste we're going to do that some more and do I take it all the way to the edge on this time? I don't know. No, I'm just wrapping over the letters, just the words, dictionary paper, just a little bit, because it does look like lace in real person. It might not look like lace on your screen, but it's pretty lazy looking real, real life, y'all. Now, mixing up some uh, antique and glaze over there, that would just be uh, a medium brown uh, paint with... Um, the fluid matte medium in it and let that dry just for a second again and now i'm coming back with um, a little bit more on top of the fiber paste and i thought no that didn't turn out quite the way i wanted it i'm gonna add a little bit more here just a second wait for it there we go and uh wiping it off my girls remember she's got that triple thick on there so she's nice and sealed up and i'm like no i just don't care for it but you can't take it back off so i'm just going to cover it up with the um fiber paste again because i like that stuff it was fun to play with it made it lacy anyway made it very textural too so 
I'm going to speed up again here any day now. There is a photo montage, y'all. This is where I go pretty much all the way to the edge, I do believe, even though I'm having a screen issue. I get screen issues from time to time, but y'all know that about me. See, all the way to the edge. It looks cool, y'all. It really does. So I thought, well, I need to use my punchinella. So I'm going to spritz some blue on there. Remember, I got this red, white, and blue thing, which, you know, happens to be the same colors of the French flag. Just saying. The French people got red, white, and blue, too. It's not just America. Okay? There we go. Isn't that neat? That, that, that some fun punching out. So then, uh, y'all know the girl was on the paper and she was stuck with uh, masking tape, I believe it was, on this here uh, photo mat. And it was not quite white, so I wanted to, I painted it white. I wanted it white, so I painted it white. Now I'm using just um, iridescent medium on a uh, makeup wedge and putting it through this stencil. Now I'm going to show you in a minute probably not even a full minute now the effect it gives it look at that oh how sweet is that that's so cool oh, i love it. it okay so here's my gel medium and uh going to butter the back of that uh matte frame okay buttering and better. that just means smearing smearing glue on the back of it or whatever your adhesive medium is. And now I'm going to stick that down right around that girl. Try to center it up. I don't know how successful I was. I didn't get a ruler out. Now I'm going to glue on my uh, my hair bob because this is now going to be a hair decoration. You know, kind of like a like a fascinator hat. Okay, there it is. Put it on there. I was going to weight it down, but I couldn't find anything really set on it. And then I'm like, yeah, I'll just scooch it over there and then set it down. Because I want to use this little metal. That's like a laser cut metal thing. So cool. Okay. And that's the little card that was in the um, little baggie it came in. So I thought, hmm, let's just stick the rest of this. Well, something, not the rest of it, but some of this red paper onto that little piece of card. Okay. Trim off the excess because I don't need that. Okay, now get that gel medium out again. Smoosh it around on there. I want it fairly thick, not super thick, but fairly thick. Now y'all see why I had so much drying time and how, how come it took me days. And then I set that aside to dry. Now I have those little round rings. Very interesting. And then I had that strip of uh, gems and some buttons. Those are flower buttons. Those so cool. Did I say that already? Just delicious vintage stuff, y'all. So I'm putting the uh, gel medium on the back of these round ringlets and I'm gluing them on there. Okay. And I'm going to do the same for my uh, gems that I cut away from the strip and they're going to decorate that little corner up there. Did I tell y'all this was a hot mess at times. I'm not saying it wasn't. It was a hot mess. But I sure like it the way it came out. I hope y'all do too. I hope y'all does too. So now I'm gluing on those buttons, which are absolutely delicious. They are a pale blue. I'm not sure if you can tell on your screen, they're pale blue. Birdie, birdie, birdie. Now that ribbon is a very pale uh, green, but I'm gonna colorize it. Okay, okay. I know y'all keep hearing that wind. Me too, it's hot here ink it around that because now it's dry and I kind of ran my hand across it because it was that that, that uh, metal stuff was a little pokey and I'm putting some foam tape on the back I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see in your screen but I put some of those little jewels down there in the bottom uh, left corner as well and that's where this little piece is going to fit right there now here's where I'm going to use the ribbon I'm going to use the ribbon to hang it with that's my intentions. And I'm like, well, it needs to be blue because this kind of color kind of like looks a little weird. So I'm just spritzing on some whatever that color is. Hey, again, y'all. Uh, list of ingredients in the description box below the hop links. Please be sure to visit all my fellow hoppers because they have done an amazing job with, the, with this uh, mystery envelope 
collaboration. And uh, that right there is some glossy accents I'm putting in those little ringlets. Mm -hmm. To make them shiny like the girl is, because you know she's shiny, she got a triple bit. Close up. And here comes the photo montage. Any second. Look at that. See, I'm really happy with her. And I hope you guys like her. Please be sure to leave thumbs up, kind comments, share the video hop, and subscribe to those of us you may not be already subscribed to. I so much appreciate your valuable time. And it's a fun collaboration. It really was. Yes, enjoyable. Please hop along with all of us. Thanks so much to be all my fellow hoppers and to y'all. Thanks for watching and happy art, y'all.